Hey guys, this is Andres at the Graphic Shack here in beautiful Ramona, California. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to do a, this is every screen printer's bread and butter. This is the, the kind of orders that we love to get. It's a 12 shirt order. It's a one color front, one color back. We're gonna knock it out with one screen. Let's go. Okay, and yes, you mentioned something, bread and butter. But there's a lot of screen printers who don't want the small orders. <laughs> how do you feel about that? Do you think they should take it or do the big orders that you want to take. Maybe home-based businesses, maybe maybe you got a shop, a retail uh, place, and, and it's a small setup. The small orders, 12 shirts, you know, 24 shirts, 15 shirts, something like that, are the orders that are gonna keep you busy, they're gonna keep you uh, afloat, and they're gonna make you the most money per order as opposed to the bigger orders. Let me explain why. On this shirt order, it's gonna be 12 shirts, it's one color front, one color back. It's a white t-shirt. This order is $240. One hour, we're gonna knock this out. You tell me where you can go and make $240 in one hour without a college degree, without doing any illegal activities. <laughs> okay, Andres. Now, there's gonna be people out there. Okay, one hour to press them, get them ready, but all together, communications, burning the screens, and then, once you're done, are you gonna deliver or are they gonna pick up? This customer is gonna come and it's gonna pick them up today. And as far as the total time, we're billing for almost just under two hours, one hour for printing. Right now, I'm gonna say it's gonna take us 30 minutes to print both front and back. I'm just gonna just throw that out there. And then as far as the burning the screen part and setting it up, I wanna say maybe 30 minutes max. So 30 minutes there, 30 minutes to print. That's one hour. Uh, as far as going back and forth with the customer, this customer just happens to uh, follow us on our, on our social media. We message back and forth maybe four or five times and the order was, was said and done. So it's a, it's a very, fairly quick order. And this is, this is, this, I'm telling you, this is the kind of orders, if you're not taking them, these are the orders you wanna take. These, these are the ones where you can make the most money. Now, last question is communication. You guys message through Instagram. Right, yeah. Do you ever have customers who wanna call you, send you files, revisions? How do you manage that time? You have to kind of juggle it. Cause we do get people that wanna call us. Some people are more old school. They're more like, hey, I need to talk to somebody live right now so they can ask you questions instead of waiting for a reply. For example, we had a lady earlier she wanted to come fill the shirts. Right. She drove to the wrong address, so she, you're calling her, waiting on her. <laughs> yeah. You know, so kind of every customer is a little different. Yeah, yeah, every customer is a little bit different. Usually the younger generations, they're more comfortable communicating with the social media. A text is fine. The older generation want to come in, they want to see the shirt, they want to see you personally, and they want to see kind of what you got going on. All right, Andres, 355, bro, what's the first thing you do? First thing we're gonna do is gonna grab our screen. We're gonna set this bad boy up. One color front, one color back. There's no aligning to do. All we gotta do is put it on the press. I'm gonna say three minutes max to get it all set up. Tape it up and we'll start printing. Hey Andres, so that's a pretty big design, man. Do you do two transparencies and put them together or? The average transparency is 13 by 19, right? 13 long, 19 tall. And this design is 13.75 uh, across. So that's way bigger than your transparency. So the way we got away with it, instead of printing it across, we printed it vertically. That's how we were able to get it printed. And then when you go and burn it, you just put it on the screen the way that you need it. So today we just happened to run out of tape. So what do you do when you run out of tape? And tape is for just securing the perimeter of the screen so we don't get any ink on the shirts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut some scraps off and we're gonna tape this bad boy up like that. All right, and yes, so what are you doing right now? So I'm putting new pallet tape on these pallets so we can get a nice smooth print. We just finished doing some hoodies, as you can see. There's a bunch of hoodie lint or whatever you call this on here. So that's not gonna give us a very sharp and clean print for these shirts. So even though we're gonna remask all this, we're still gonna be able to knock this out in an hour. So you guys can see why you should be taking these smaller orders because these sh smaller orders will definitely uh, 
make your bank account grow with uh, not as much work. You gotta make your lines on this. Gotta get our, our center lines here so we know that our design will be printed in the center of the shirt. What kind of ruler is that? Is that meant for shirts or is that something else? Uh, yeah, it's meant for shirts. It's actually, this actually broke. It's actually supposed to be like this. And this is just to help you when you do the heat press vinyl stuff. You put this on the bottom of the neck of the shirt and it tells you like if you can put the left chest or center of the shirt. I mean, I got it just for when I get people to help me out. Not necessarily for me because I'm, I'm just good, you know? <laughs> no. You eyeball it. <laughs> I just eyeball it, but it's not necessarily for me. I, I just got it mainly for when I get help and just as a ruler, but I dropped it and it, it broke. All right, so this is for the center, center of the shirt for the back print. This is the left chest print right there. Now we're all set to go, we can set it up. This design is 13 and three quarters wide. So half of 13 is um, 750. So seven and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, half, and then one fourth. So we should move this over right here. Okay. Since we're printing the back right now, we're gonna cover this up so we don't get any ink on here so that no ink goes through. For people that don't know, what is that? This is a water-based um, palette or shirt adhesive. The adhesive for the t-shirt is basically, you put the shirt on here on the palette and you need it to stay put. You don't want it to be moving around. Otherwise, you're not gonna get a good print. And on the market right now, there's only pretty much three types of adhesive. There's this kind, which is the water-based adhesive. There's the spray adhesive, and then there's a web adhesive. So each one of those has their own purpose. Most of the time, screen printers, when they're starting out, they'll buy the spray cans, which is basically like something like this. It's just, you just spray it on there, and it does the job, it's good. I have no complaints. However, water-based adhesive is kind of a relatively new product and it's, um, it's a lot better for the environment. It's better for you because you're not breathing in any aerosol sprays or anything like that. And it's water-based, so it's a lot easier to go and, and get and buy and throw it on here quick. Also, it lasts a long time. Like I can put the glue on here, I can probably print about 100 shirts. As opposed to the spray, I can probably print maybe 20, 25, and then I gotta respray. So. I know I had already mentioned this before. The reason I tape on the outside as opposed to the inside is for this very purpose right here. As you can see, if I had taped it on the inside, the squeegee, the edges are gonna be on the tape. It doesn't seem like it, but the thickness of the tape is gonna cause a difference in pressure. So when you're squeegeeing, you're not gonna get a clean edge on the sides because it's lifted that much off the screen. So that's why I tape on the outside as opposed to taping on the inside, which most people tape on the inside. So this, uh, although we kind of butchered this, <laughs> we'll save this one so that in case we have another print, we, we can um, test on this. So you don't want to just throw it out. You can use the back for that. And bam! Everything looks good? Looks great, man. All right. You're ready. Cali Riders original. Keep in mind the customer didn't actually have an actual graphic file, so I had to remake this myself. It didn't take me too long though. All right, and I guess for 30, it's been about 30 minutes, but no, we're talking. You have to prep time. How do you like to put the shirts on? All four and then just keep switching them out? Yeah. Or one at a time? I like to do all four and then uh, I get into a little groove after that so the first one so i do all four last one that's all the bags what, what do we got what time is it 4 43 took you like 10 minutes all right now i'm gonna set this up flip it over do the fronts we'll see if we can bang this out within the hour for the total i can't believe it i guess I can't believe it bro well, one hour what's going on how are we looking oh, exactly Did one it? hour the dot an hour, man, banged it out. This is, I'm telling you, smaller orders, one color, no flash. It's like your bread and butter. It's, it's what you want to do. If you're not getting those big orders, that's what you want. You want these 
simple one color you know if it's idealistically one print one location because you can bang it out even faster but take those orders and don't be afraid to quote unquote lose money because it's not a big enough order all right you're done pressing you still gotta fold them or nah no oh. this is good right here so all we're gonna do is we're already have them stacked pretty much by size all we gotta do now is quick little flip of the wrist ready to go put this in the box and we're done easy money you make it look too easy <laughs> All right, guys, so that's how I knock out a 12 short order, one color front, one color back, one hour, quick order, $240. And, and let me know what the smallest order you've taken for screen printing. What, how much did you charge? Why did you take it? And what do you guys think? Put it in the comments below. And if you want to see any more t-shirt content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one, guys.